Perfect. Technically, I could even take off again. <laughs> have you ever heard of a rocket with multiple splashdowns? I have, because we are awesome. What is up, dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where today I have some unfortunate news. We had to restart our campaign, and by saying we had to, I really fucking wanted to, because I was in the middle of a recording, I had to go away from the keyboard for just a little bit of time, and when I came back, I did not realize that I was mispositioned, we died immediately, lost two of our pilots in one episode, one for a reasons unknown, <laughs> and one because it's basically just fucked up. And that kind of took me off, not because we lost the pilot, but because I couldn't reset it. And I felt like I was kind of gypped on that, like I was pulled away from the keyboard and I had to come back to death and lose the episode. So, we're back here. Take that long ass intro and compound it into brand new game. And now instead of being on hard mode, we're just on a straight, standard, normal difficulty. No uh, custom anything. It's just straight normal. So let's get our first contracts, which will be launch our first vessel. We'll try to get through these pretty quick. Uh, gather scientific data, because I believe that's a little bit easier than what we're trying to do. Da da da, load on up. Our, I already know how to build a rocket. Thank you, though. Let's get in here, get a tiny little flea booster. Tiny little booster. Get some um, four fins, to be specific. Get four of those set up right there. Get a nice parachute set up. And then get two of these scientific data majigs. Two of them, not four of them. Try not to touch the wings on my side. There we go. Sweet. Now we'll call that USS Tiny Shit. Yeah, <laughs> we'll keep with our naming. Uh, I do believe there's a space in the other one, but who cares? Now, do we have we have to launch, obviously, but gather scientific data. Is it to recover or transmit any scientific experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal? Okay, so I don't think we even have to take off for that. Sweet, save and launch. This should be a really, really easy and simple. Hopefully. Yes, no, maybe. Oh shit, uh, parachute on. Second stage. First stage. We should be fine, but I don't think we need it. Let me get the observed mystery goo. Nice, get that science. I, that didn't count. Okay, uh, crew report, because that'll count, right? No. Huh. Wait, we have to recover it. Duh. Okay, well, let's try to angle out to this side. I doubt we're going to be able to. Let that booster go off to the side. If we can angle off in the water, just like our first episode, we should, and by should, hopefully, we'll be able to get some extra science. I already got science on one of them. I've already got the crew report, so we should be fine there. And tilt back towards the planet. Let's see if we can... Oh wait, you're a pilot, aren't you? SAS. I completely forgot about using SAS. And I completely forgot about using the joystick that I have, like, right next to me. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. There we go. No, no, no. There we go. We need it to fall to the ground. I guess it doesn't technically matter. I just don't want to accelerate too fast. And that's exactly what we're doing now. So let's rotate and rotate again. <laughs> cool. If we can just keep this speed, we'll be perfectly fine. Toss us up. I'm trying to keep this sideways rotation the most because it'll give us the most amount of drag. Thus the teeter-totter. I'm sure this feels great for uh, Jebediah down there. A most nope, that was a full whirl. <laughs> probably like a roller coaster. Alright, let's release that parachute. It'll probably open up almost immediately. Unless it has to be under a thousand meters, I can't remember. Might be under a thousand. Right? Yeah, there it goes. Cool. And slow us down at four hundred meters off. You are almost exactly where you took off from, dude. Nice. 
Take off SAS because you don't need to be facing straight down. <laughs> we'll accelerate this so we don't have to keep watching, and there we go. Our first launch is pretty successful. I believe we got both of those. We got a world record, too. Whoa, oh, wait, hold on. Click. We've broken a lot of world records. Sweet. You always do on your first one. Now that, open mystery goo, and bam, even more science. Recover vessel. I do believe that is both contracts completed. I do believe. Uh, 23 science, nice. $130,000, zero reputation for Jebediah, but we did get both contracts, hell yeah. Cool, um, well, let's do... Test the parachute, that one's easy enough, right? Uh, 4,000 to 11,000, speed 140 to 270. I might be able to do that. Should be able to do that. Uh, test the hammer booster at the launch site. I can definitely do that. Sweet, get some money. Turn right back around. We don't have em enough money to upgrade that, do we? Oh, we do. Definitely upgrading. Um... Research and development. Let's get some rockets going. We don't even have to buy them because we're not on hard mode, which is amazing. We have 13 science left, which is not enough to do crap with. Back to the vehicle assembly. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Um, can we add some science to this? Yes, we can. Let's do that. Do we have a uh, heat shield yet? We do not. That would be in survivability with the parachutes. Shit. Okay. Well, um... That's a bad idea. I need a decoupler on that, because we can use that secondary booster, or not use it, depending. And then we can move all these items up here, like so. Those four wings... Oh, wait, we can actually use that secondary bo uh, booster for deceleration. No. Uh, I, w I had to think about that for a second. That's kind of the weird pause that I had. Um, I like these boosters a whole lot better. And since we don't have the parts, really, but we do have the weight capacity, we can definitely try that first. Just like so. And then get a stack decoupler. I have one up. Yep. And get a stack decoupler there. Get one of these hammer solid boosters and then get, uh, we only have one of those. So we're going to go for another USS Long Shaft right now. <laughs> that name always gets me. Uh, I know it's immature, but I, it's, sorry. That's what happens when you get stoned. Stupid things become funny. Um, get that. Oh, we only have the tiny wings, which isn't going to be great, but what I think we can do with them is put... Oh shit, that's going to be eight parts. Along with the cones on top. That's a bad idea. Maybe just like so? Because I have the little... No. Huh. How many parts do I have left? I have eight parts left in total. I think that's just enough for what I need. Let's see here. Click that. Sorry, very complex thinking for someone who's just smoked two bowls right before this video because I did not necessarily want to restart this career but we are going to those were tiny little parachutes uh, we are definitely going to restart the career though do I not have aerodynamic cones apparently I don't okay well I guess that saves us on those then I can definitely get some more wings and that will be it uh, maybe right here because what we can do is have all five of those as the first stage and then decouple and then that one is the second stage and then decouple and then our adjustable rocket. We should be able to set a buttload of records and we might be able to test that parachute thing depending on how fast we come flying back into the atmosphere. And we get the first one automatically. Cool. So I think that will be it. That's our first one. Let's call it, instead of the USS Tiny Shit, because it's definitely not anymore, the USS Long Shaft. We've got to make a long turn, too. <laughs> Just to, to even out the really bad naming situation we've got here. Uh, I was thinking USS Tiny Shit, the exact opposite. 
Um, Mr. Jebediah, would you please lock on and off we go. First one completed. Hell yeah. Right off the bat. So that, I, I mean, we kind of knew that was going to happen. This is going to get real wobbly here. So my joystick's going to come in handy. I'm already using it to help out to stabilize a bit. Lean far. Wow, we're using a lot of yaw. I'm having to lean all the way to the right. Detach. Fire. And I want to see if we can start leaning off as we do. Come on, Jebediah. Let's start leaning it over. I want to go to maybe 45 degrees. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Amazing. And then... I don't believe we have enough fuel to do anything else with that. But we did just set a record, right? Maybe. Maybe. I hope so. If not, we should have. <laughs> Let's use a little bit of this thrust to get us out in an orbital fashion so that we don't come just flying straight down. I'm trying to adjust us real quick. You can probably hear the clunking around as I'm moving the joystick. Trying to get us exactly at 90. Thrust real low. See how much we have. Looks like we're doing pretty damn well. Now this... We're burning in this kind of direction not for actual... Uh, height. We're only barely going to adjust our height with this. I'm mainly burning out so that we can make a further sideways pattern. I'm not certain if you can see my mouse in this one. We're doing good. We have a lot of fuel left and we have a nice pattern. So I think that's it. We're officially in space too. So let's open our doors. Let's get all of this amazing science. Observe mystery goo. Another 10 science. Wow, it's 35 right off the bat. Where's our secondary guy? Did I not put one? Apparently I didn't. When I moved it, it only took only one. Damn. All right, well, that's fine. Crew report. What do you think about being in science, man? Or in science, in space, man. Close the doors. We're good. Cool. Isn't that freaking awesome? Jebediah, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's flip this around, if we can. I believe that once that orbit flips, that this will turn yellow. Maybe I'm mistaken, but let's get this adjusted. And there we go, cool. We're still decelerating, so we're still going up. Let's accelerate the time a bit, because I don't want to be dealing with this for the next 10 minutes. And I have no doubt, neither do you. Cool, so let's line up with that yellow right there. I need to get better with the terminology on this stuff, because I'm definitely not a rocket scientist, but I kind of understand the concepts behind how this operates and the uh, curvatures that you have to enter and exit and all that, but I have no idea about the terminology, which makes me sound like a fucking idiot when I'm trying to explain myself. Let's keep in that yellow line. And I start, yeah, limiting our acceleration there. We have so much fuel, too. So we need 4,000 to 11,000 meters, and then we can turn on that parachute. That's a pretty big uh, amount of time, or not amount of time, a pretty big distance that they give you there, which gives you a lot of time. Not speaking correctly, because I'm thinking about a bunch of different stuff at once, and kind of can't multitask when you're this high. Yeah, <laughs> quite literally and physically. Uh, get that lined up. I'm doing this with one-handed, too, which makes me feel even more accomplished. Because I only have one hand to reach around the... Oh, God, that sounds bad. To reach around the microphone. And, um... It's the only thing I can actually use to control the joystick. <laughs> the, 
probably shouldn't explain myself, but the reason I said that, that sounds bad is because I was about to say I need to reach around to fiddle with the joystick, and that it's probably not a good statement to be saying. There's too many bad memes that can be created off that. Uh, 52,000. We're coming in real fast. I'd like to slow that down, and we have plenty of fuel to do so. Let's line it up, line it up. I can at any point in time uh, hit the detach button, which is I set up as a trigger for the joystick, which makes me feel pretty in control here. If this starts to go crazy, I can always stop it. Now, what speed? 140 to 270. I think we can do this. Uh, we're about to enter the correct area and we just now have the correct speed nice 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 turn sideways to prevent acceleration again oh crap does this work oh crap come on come on we need to slow down slow down there we go yes got it hell yeah that, now I feel accomplished yeah <laughs> Let's take that off and we can zoom out and turn up the speed here because we should be just fine to take in a landing. Turn down the speed for a second because that scared the hell out of me. Come hurtling in at 150. Almost good, yes, maybe. There we go. Now we can turn it up. We are golden, so let me stop this roll a bit. Yes? No? Oh god, he's probably getting dizzy. You should not adjust your roll while you're at a four times acceleration because he starts to spin quickly and it makes me sound like an idiot because I was not focused on what I was saying while I was saying that. I think we're good. We don't have any science to get extra, so... Let's go. Nice. That was a pretty damn good launch. I'm liking this so far. We're doing pretty well. This is going to be a pretty long ep episode. I said, holy shit. 71 research. Uh, survivability would be nice. Uh, stability would be nice. And then general rocketry would... Uh, that's fuel tanks. Hmm, we don't have enough for that. Flight control is 45. Yeah, that's going to be the only thing we can do. So let's do that just to advance, and we still have 18 science. Nice! Okay, so for that, we now have our two contracts open again. And let's try one more. Haul the shoot into flight. Uh, I can do that at 2,000 to 10,000 at a very select speed. I can do that. What about test the stack decoupler at the launch site? Think I can do that too, but it's it's sketchy. I hate doing that. Um All right, let's just do these two real quick and we'll see how it goes. So this is going to be a kind of a useless rocket. That's what we should name it because it's going to be such a useless rocket. Let's get that thing and then let's get a fuel tank or two probably just go for two and then get some wings on it and then I don't believe I should have any form of I'm trying to think aloud here but it's not working because I'm stoned uh, I don't think I need more fuel than this because I don't think we're gonna be going that high up into the atmosphere but it really wouldn't hurt it this looks like we're building a missile Let's get our radial dragon mounted. Right? That's what we need. The radial mount droge shoot. I thought that was dragon. Okay. I thought dragon shoot would be much cooler. 
get that, get the top chute on, have to separate those stages because they never set them up correctly, and then let's get that rocket actually on there. Probably want the swivel engine. And then let's have the stack decoupler as the last thing. Cool. Now this looks funky as hell because it is. And useless. And save and launch. And whoa. Our parachutes are not on the right stack decoupler. I hope I can do this before it freaks out on me. T, go, go. Oh shit. Go. Go. <laughs> that was a terrible start. What a terrible, terrible start. And those shoots are not going to survive. Huh. I feel like I should take advantage of the fact that I can reset stuff. But we only need to get 2,000 meters into the air and those shoots aren't bad yet. Yeah, <laughs> this is the dumbest flight I've ever had. We're almost there, and the shoots aren't freaking out. They're still yellow. So, <laughs> this is so dumb. 2,000 meters. Oh, we're not going to get the speed needed. Well, that sucks. We have to get to 190 meters per second, and there is no way... With those shoots holding us back. Damn. I thought we could do it. And that's why I was still trying. At least we got one of them. Stack decoupler. The next one's going to be real freaking simple. We can still use this same... Uh, same ship. Which, by the way, I completely forgot to add a secondary stack decoupler to. So it's going to be a chain reaction explosion as we hit the ground. I didn't even realize that. That's really funny. That's a combination of a lot of dumb errors and mistakes that <laughs> ended up being quite humorous. 3.5. Let's accelerate the time a bit because I'm pretty sure you're going to blow up. Like 90% sure. We're still far off the ground. So let's get that accelerated oh shit are we gonna land okay it's like are we gonna land exactly where we took off from that's not good let's activate second shoot that will not slow us down in time slowing down hey it actually did nice definitely not how much we need and blow up nice <laughs> It's like it's supposed to be like that. Recover the vessel. We did complete one contract, so I don't believe it brought down the reputation for us. And we did get signs from it, which is really funny. Got some funds, and yeah, our reputation didn't go down. Sweet. So let's still use that useless craft, and let's reuse it real fast. Let's take that off, because that is extremely useless, and let's kind of fix this because that was a mistake should have checked that before we launched check your stages bro I think we're ready though oh shit lock on and go and let's keep throttle to about half up I think we can do it Snagging a quick drink before this gets hectic and I have to use the joystick. We are already almost at the right. Almost. We need to, we can use it much later, so I think we're going to use it around 10,000 meters instead. Just because I kind of like this rocket so far. Is there, maybe we can angle out a bit too? Oh yeah, we can. So let's angle way off to the side over here. See if we can turn this into a sideways adventure. Because I don't want to go too fast. But I also want to use the rest of my fuel up. I guess there's really no reason. I'm just wasting time. It works for me. 
I still don't have a d detach. <laughs> At least he's not going to blow up. He's going to hit the water and I can slow him down. All right, well, that's a successful contract that we just completed. We've completed seven things in a row. Nice, and completed who knows how many records, which is way cooler. Get all of those dismissed. We got all our money now, too, right? We're pretty good. I think we can even upgrade our spaceship. Or not our spaceship. <laughs> our uh, uh, vehicle assembly building. There we go. I'm trying to focus on not dying. So pardon me not paying attention to what I'm saying. I don't believe those chutes actually kick in until we get to like 4,000 or 2,000 meters. And I know the main chute doesn't kick in until we get to uh, 1,000 meters. So I'm just kind of waiting, and I mean we could slow down a little bit with the jet, but I'm just kind of waiting. Take SAS off and let it kind of do its thing. Technically the shoot should add so much drag that it'll stop spinning after they open up. Yep, just like so. And I can even add a little forward thrust if I want. All good, all good. And the chutes look like their drag is activating properly. No, what? What are you doing, Rocket? Okay. There we go. <laughs> I was like, are you about to go into a death spin for no reason? That's, that's not cool. Let's not do that. I still have plenty of fuel. Coming down 1,700 meters, I think we'll accelerate the time just a bit. So we don't have to worry about waiting 1,200 meters. And I believe we can activate our next shoot too. Nice. Nice. And we are golden. So I think we get a special amount for splash landing and taking a crew report. We get another like 3.5 science, so I'm gonna wait a second. And then we'll do the crew report if I haven't done so already. Might have done it already. Nope, we could still get 3.5. Might as well just do that now then and not waste time. That's so cool. We're going to be able to decelerate exactly how much we need. Let's start going down 50 meters in counting. And slow. Oh, I don't want to accelerate upwards. Perfect. Technically, I could even take off again. <laughs> have you ever heard of a rocket with multiple splashdowns? I have, because we are awesome. Can I take off still? <laughs> I blew it up, but oh well. That I wanted to do that. That was that was fun. <laughs> so stupid, but it's so much fun. Uh, can we start? Yeah, there we go. We were very gently moving through the ocean so it wouldn't let us move or uh, recover the vessel. <laughs> I'm glad you're alive, man. That was crazy. You had three splashdowns. I don't know what went wrong. Uh, all right. Well, we have plenty of science now. We don't need to go into that, though. We, have, uh, we can't afford anything yet. But we can do what we were originally doing in this episode we can orbit now let's buy that and into suborbital trajectory that might be a good idea because the thumper is a very good one uh, at the same time i don't think i want to um 80 to 390 at okay we can do that and leave facility sweet Vehicle assembly building. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's back out. How much money do I have? 203,000. Please, please let us upgrade our main vehicle assembly building. We have not enough money. Damn it. I thought we had just enough, but then I realized that's not a two. It's still that wouldn't have been enough. That would have been 2,000 less than we needed. We need $22,000 and we don't have it, which kind of sucks. So let's get a new rocket going, get that. Let's get some good fuel tanks once again. I probably should have used useless as an example. 
vehicle or whatever it is. Do I have a heat shield now? I do. All right, so let's use a heat shield. Let's put, um, trying to think about what we're going to need space-wise. We've already been to space. We can't really get that much extra science off it. But we will if we complete these contracts, I believe. So the contracts are main priority. We just have to get to 47,000 to 55,000 with stack decoupler at 80 meters per second to 390. That is 390. Yeah, 390 meters per second. That. How am I going to do that? Huh. I'm not quite certain. Uh, I was going to have a secondary science junior in there, but for the moment, because I don't know if orbit's going to be easy or not, I think we're just going to leave it the way it is. So let's put that, and we don't have the parts for it, so let's just put the way, uh, put that normal way I'd have it. Let's have two shoots on the sides, actually because we're going to need the uh, extra fuel tanks, we'll put one shoot, we only have 30 parts. But one shoot on the top too, we have a slow down shoot, and then we have a actual land softly shoot. Get those separated before the stages fuck me over later. And then we can get some decouplers in here. We have radial decouplers, which should help us out. Let's stick that there. We Stack decoupler, okay, we don't have the thumper into orbit or anything like that, so we should be fine setting up our small fuel tank like so. Let's get the tiny wings on this thing. Let's put... Th we're going to run out of parts real quick, but let's put four of them on there, and then... Let's put a stack decoupler, and then let's put couple of hammer boosters. I think we're going to go for two hammer boosters. I know for a fact I'm going to go over the parts limit. I might not. Oh shit. If I don't, this is going to be amazing. Let's grab some radial decouplers, put four of them right there. Take four of those and put it like so. I needed to grab them higher up. Are we still good? We still have five parts, which is perfect. Nice. Um, okay. What we're going to do is right click on these and adjust the thrust. Set that to something like 60, which should be more than enough to get us moving forward. Uh, da -da -da -da. Take some wings and we can set them down here, I believe. I hope this works. Uh, yep, that's good enough because we only have one more part. At that point, I kind of want to put that second parachute on, but I don't know. Maybe we'll add another fuel tank just for shits and giggles because we do have that extra part and we need something. It adds extra weight, but I don't think we're going to be in too much jeopardy. Okay, so first launch takes those guys and fires them off. That's probably not a good idea. Let me take that and maybe a thrust limiter on it to... Huh. Not certain if that would be a good idea or not. Let me keep that at 50 because it'll make it last longer. Uh, then that'll be all four of these and that might go off at the same time because I'm not certain on the timing. I haven't played this game enough to know the timing. Hopefully those will go off at the same time. Then we can radial decouple and drop that off at the same time. Might not want to do those both at the same time. Let me radial decouple first and then after a few seconds we'll do that and then we can fire off those boosters and then we'll be good. Hopefully. We'll stick with that. Okay, so let's call this one the big boom because it's definitely going to explode. And then let's click save and launch. I do not know if this is honestly going to work. Kind of excited though, because I kind of want it to. <laughs> this will be our last flight if it works. If not, we might have one more. Let us go! Jebediah, lead us into space. They are not going to end at the same time, but I was close. Oh man. 
drinking soda gives you the hiccups while you're recording. Not a good idea. 123, we need 47,000 meters. Damn. I did not realize that was so high. Crap, Jebediah. I'm going to try to slightly adjust here to help you even this out. Pull off to the right. Pull off to the right. Seems like it's working. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Damn, this is a really good rocket at least. So we're going to have to go to almost straight south, I believe. Two, wait, 270 is not south. 180 is south. Uh, we're almost going to have to go straight west in our orbit, which is kind of okay with me. Detach. Detach. Bam! Now let's see if we can get this to start going closer to 270. I don't believe we're going to get orbit. We might, but I don't think so. Get down here. Okay, that's where I want you. Can you just stay right there for me? Damn it. Uh, how much do we have that set to? I think we have enough fuel to keep that steady. I did not even look at our stack decoupler. Son of a beach. I guess we're going to have to get that on our way back in. If we're going to have to get it on our way in, then I'm going to stop right now and start acting as if we're going to be going back down to... Sp ah, son of a beach. Because I can't... Uh, if we orbit, we can't possibly get it. So, and I don't think we can actually... We might be able to orbit, but I don't want to try it. If we do, we're not going to be able to come back down, which kind of sucks. So... Yeah, let's, let's start acting as if... We're going to come in for a landing, and what we'll do is keep our speed real low. Hopefully, keep our speed real low. And with that, we'll be able... To, I really don't like these tiny wings. They're not doing shit to keep us stationary. Or it's our bulk keeps shifting back and forth. I think... Okay, cool. Now I got us snagged. Um... I'm hoping to at least get that stack decoupler contract. We're probably not going to orbit this time around. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do I want to do one? Just fuck it. It's already going to be a long episode, so I'll do one more flight. We're going to have to... I'm going to accelerate the speed here. That's a really cool freaking picture right there. I just wish the spaceship was lit up a little bit better. Let's start to accelerate and see how this goes. Go up, and then we start to come back down. Yeah, <laughs> that little red light comes on. It's like, holy shit, dude! You know you're you know you're falling, right? Cannot work faster than one time. So the species will start to accelerate. There, we have a lot of fuel, so I don't have too much of a problem wasting a little bit as we come back in. 47,000 to 55,000. So, 55,000 is our limit. Let's let it accelerate us a little bit quicker so it doesn't take us two minutes to get there. And then we can figure out how this is going to go. I hope we can do this. It should be fairly easy. We still have a heat shield underneath that decoupler. We have all our uh, stuff. Are we going to land in the water again? I think we are. <laughs> so many splashdowns in this video. Almost good. Almost under a hundred thousand. We are reaching close to a hundred or a thousand meters per second, which means it would take us only a hundred seconds to theoretically hit. Why did the space music just come on? We're going back towards Earth, not going into space. What the fuck? But yeah, at a hundred thousand meters, if we were going a thousand meters per second, it'd only take us a hundred seconds to get there common math I can do simple math while I'm stoned as fuck <laughs> let's start to decelerate a little bit because we have to slow down to 390 meters per second by 55,000 okay so this is going to be a little sketchy here 
390 is the speed we need and we're almost in the range that we can use it. Uh, throttle up so we can start to slow down a bit. Yeah, we can use it now and we'll get it, right? Yep, we just need to get our speed down. Uh, throttle way up, see if we can do this. I think we're good. I think we have enough fuel to do it. Oh yeah, we have enough fuel to do it. Decelerating at a perfect rate and right as the water texture starts to appear at the very bottom. Oh shit, we're already lower than 47,000. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, what a bitch. I was so focused on our speed, I didn't even realize we were descending so fast that right as I was talking about speed and time, good lord. Can I actually go back up? I know that sounds dumb, but do I have enough speed to start to accelerate again and go back into orbit? This might actually work, which, no it won't, because we can't get there. That would make me laugh so freaking hard if we could do this. It might be possible. Yeah, <laughs> we... Oh, shit. We missed it, but we didn't. We can still do this. We can still do this. Speed at the right. Yes. No. What? There we go. Bam. <laughs> oh, we got it. That's awesome. I feel accomplished for that. Now, technically, that thing has a higher wind resistance than we do, so... We can hope that it's going to accelerate much faster and go into a dive bomb and our rounded shell is going to make it kind of twirl off to the side while we're going to go straight down, hopefully, and we'll be fine. <laughs> I'm so happy that we actually got that to work. That's so weird. Jebediah had two double launches, or uh, two double. Uh, he had a double launch in one single spacecraft voyage. Get you to start coming down. Now, the speed's about to go off the charts, but we do have that heat shield still, so... Yep, heat shield. We should not have a problem. Now's where the fire in the air starts. Right around 35,000 meters. Nope, we're already good. We're so good we don't have to worry about that. Cool, I can deal with that. We're still accelerating, but means we're only going to get the air rush here in a minute. Technically, I could start to slow down with my first shoots. That did not... Okay, there we go. I was like, that did not deploy and are kind of freaking me out. All good. Splash. Is it going to splash or explode? Splash or explode. Splash or explode. Uh, oh wait, it's technically supposed to get like 8,000 meters before it's going to hit. So, let's see here. It's going to hit in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bam! Oh shit, I was, I was close. <laughs> For being stoned and doing a lot of math on the fly, I was close. Let's see here, SAS can probably disable. You don't have to worry about it, dude. We're going so slow. You should be perfectly fine. And get that other one going. All right. So I said I was going to do one more flight, and I kind of want to, but I also really have to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to call this episode here, and then we're going to do a second episode right after this. So uh, I'll probably put them both up at the same day. I'm trying to do that, but I have a lot of episodes. I have six freaking episodes that I have to edit and upload. So... It's going to take me a while, so I guess that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go to the bathroom, and uh, that's about it. See you later. What's up, dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to RuneScape. Welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts, where we're going to get some stuff done today. 